Engineer 775 playing in the mud. We had a tremendous thunderstorm here when we showed up. We're at a customer site. This is a do-it-yourself customer who just wanted the, as much as we could get done for him in a day. Pounding posts, building the rack. This is gonna be a large one, it's the largest single one we've done, a 64 panel. We usually break them up into smaller, but this is a 64 panel seasonal adjust ground mount and uh, the key thing is making sure your post rotation is right for the jacks and uh, we we got a not a very good morning array but it's an awesome afternoon array so we're tilting a little our azimuths a little bit southwest which is actually great and I think they're gonna be super happy with the uh, function production and look of this array when it's done. So the customer had purchased everything already, so all I had to do was bring the driver, and he had um, a skid steer waiting on me. So other than the weather, it's a pretty slick operation. And then I don't have to bring a heavy trailer and deal with CDL stuff, I just bring the, the Rhino, uh, my light material trailer, and uh, these guys are waiting on me now. Uh-oh, back to work. It's getting so hot. <laughs> We've got our 64 panel all in a row, seasonal adjust. I'm surprised that he was able to get one that long. I know Sinclair was limiting how long you could go, and it started with 24 panels, and now they've obviously changed their mind. So this is a 64 panel, 72 cell rack that's seasonally adjustable. It'll be eight strings of eight panels to two 15K Solarks, probably some EG4 batteries. And uh, that's, that's it. So the seasonal adjust is nice for building because you can level things out. So we had one refusal. A refusal is when the, you just can't, you just hit a rock. You can see this, this post was getting a really good twist to it and we hit a rock and anyway sat on it for about 30 minutes and we we got to five feet over five feet of embedment so we're good and i'm fine with it it's in the middle of the array versus being an anchor so we're we are good so everything else pounded nicely but that guy doesn't so what do you do do you take the post back out no you just cut the top down and drill a new hole and drill the minimum number of holes that you need and on this you just need one hole there and then two holes for the seasonal adjust uh, jack so very easy to do with a laser or line level just uh, get the tops right this is so cool this is a natural pool with actual pool skimmers but there this is just natural regenerative area over here this is established pools been in like seven or eight years and it is so awesome no chemicals they swim in it all the time and um, they figured out a sand filter would keep the the algae to a minimum when it's hot and they got a they got a they got a, a vacuum in there so that is awesome they got a, just a simple sand filter over there and uh, that is cool 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 this is such a neat idea Look at that, folks. That is awesome. Will they rip my arm off? Uh, that's they're not I'm ripping my arm off. They think they're going to be taken out. I'm going to calm them down and put my arm in there. You're a fish cat, uh, <laughs> Look at these little guys. How you got about 50 in there? Yeah. They're this like, give me something to eat. So, nice. So I've experimented with the types of fish. This one has done much better. I like this system better. That is awesome. That's some good meaty fish in there. Alright, it's a wrap. We got it's a 64 panel 
rack short one panel but that's the customers going to be in hot pursuit of that so it's not bad for it's a very rainy morning uh, so we didn't get started till I think we got started at 10 30 11 o'clock and it is six o'clock now that's uh, 27 kilowatts installed but we are we're kind of dead um, but it's doable with four guys uh, we got got it done. So I'm gonna sign off before I start babbling. <laughs> so uh, 27 kilowatts, one day, four hours of driving, two each way. But that worked nicely. These are Mission Solars. Customer's gonna run two 15k Solarks. Just backing up so you can see. So pretty good. He's gonna have a great setup here. All right, we're tired. We're hot. We're hungry. We're thirsty. We're out of here. All right, if you need help, folks, we can help you. This was a big help to this gentleman not to have to pour all this concrete. You know, seven, eight yards of concrete, and he could never get a truck back here. So that makes for a Georgia buggy fun and all that. So anyway, it was a very successful day, and everybody was like, well, it's raining. It's, it's going to be a horrible day, but it wasn't. We got a lot done. And then we've given them a lot of instruction along the way of what to do next, how to do the wiring. And uh, so hopefully that has also saved him some time. So anyway, it was fun to come help another prepper. I got to see a really cool natural pool that he built and a pretty one of the few functioning aquaponics systems. I usually see them, they're defunct. People try and give up. This one's working really well. So he's a real prepper. All right, so this is Engineer 775. Let me know if I can help you.